back students now today's video will be learning the economic nature of cyclic compounds so basically we have seen the other days isn't it from c1 to c20 were isolated but <coughs> among them 1 to 6 are well known to us yeah so when i have to name the cyclic compounds simple first as you know whenever you have such compounds given cyclo is a prefix which you have to use and and whatever the parent chain is there, you have to name the parent chain. For example, in this, see here, 1, 2, 3. So, you have 3 carbons so prop. So, as I said, the prefix will be cyclo, it will be propane. Now, here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 are there. So, cyclo, pentane, prefix is cyclo, pentane is a pinch. Suppose if I have this compound, right? So, IUPAC name, uh, they've asked me to number this. So, first of all, just see here, how many are there? How many? Let one, no, okay, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, right? So, let's see again, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. So, it is butte. Here, how many are there? and joints 1 and 2 it is eat then since here uh, they may be like uh, and they have not given it in the end I am just counting the points 1 2 3 4 okay or you can also make 1 2 3 4 but 1 2 eat so the same thing if I have to draw it it looks like this this is uh, eat isn't it I said eat. Let us write eat. Here, this is but. I said but. Now name it. Total. What is the parent chain? It is butane. So let us name this and start numbering according to the alphabetical order. I said but gets first. So this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. Now name it. You have to name it in such a way that one butyl because alphabetical order. After that, in the second one, two ethyl cyclo because this is a cyclo group 4 it is butane cyclo butane done alphabetical order of numbering this is what we have taken now if i take this example right so again how many are there this is how much propyl group is into three carbons done so let's name now this is one carbon atom only how should i name according to the alphabetical order m after that p so this is 1 methyl at the third one we have 3 propyl cyclohexane done simple let us name this compound now here what did they give us there are substituents here also there are substituents here also first of all it is a cyclopropane group let us write off the parent chain cyclopropane now See here, at the first position, there are two groups. At the second position, there are two groups. At the third per carbon, there are three two groups. So, name this 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. How many? Total hexa. All are methyl groups only because only one carbon is not it. So, hexa methyl. Okay, there is no place. Hexa methyl cyclopropane. That yeah, students. So this is how you have to number the cyclo uh, compounds. If it is there are no substituents, you directly number it. If there are substituents, you have to go with the alphabetical order. Done. Yes. So this is how is that. Now let's start with the nomenclature of unsaturated hydrocarbons. Yeah. Suppose if there are uh, alkenes, if there are alkynes given, how to name that uh, thing? So, whenever I said, whenever a compound is given, you have to check for the longest parent possible carbon chain. Whichever is longest, that will be considered as a parent chain. Right? Fine. So, now, first let us see how should we do this. And next, <coughs> we will see which is wrong, which is right also in this. Suppose, when you have alkenes, remember, that should get, that particular carbon should get the minimum number. Right? Done? Yes. So, start with 1. Then, this is 2. Okay. This this carbon, I have to say, okay, the here will write 2. I will go like this. 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स दिस इज अ करेक्ट वे बिकॉज आई सेट एल किन शुड गेट द मिनिमम नंबर सपोज इफ यू स्टार्ट नंबरिंग लाइक दिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन यू गेट लॉन्गेस्ट बट दट इज इन करेक्ट वेन नवर यू हैव एल्किस दैट शुड बी गिवन द प्रिफरस प्रिफरेंस फर्स्ट रिमेंबर दैट यस सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस लेट एस स्टार्ट नेमिंग दिस कंपाउंड सो दिस इज ओवर सो एल्किस शुड गेट और द डबल बॉन्डेड कार्बन double bonded carbon should get minimum number remember this so let us see this so i said lowest number should be assigned or should be given first preference now here when i start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 Four, five, so the alkene is getting sing uh, like less lowest number suppose if i start from here 1 2 3 4 5 so it's getting more number isn't it so the correct order is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so parent chain is hex hyphen 2 after second carbon double bond is there to in this is over now let us take this suppose if if you have two double bonds like this i told you so your uh, the preference should be given but here when you have a substituent also so that one which has a substituent and a double bond that should be given preference compared to this hope you understand students so the number numbering uh, will be 1 2 3 4 5 so how to name this in the second position you have methyl Five carbon, so it is penta. In the first, uh, this one, uh, you have where 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 you have diene. Here, this is one I said, isn't it? Yeah. At the first one, as well as fourth one, you have alkenes, means double bond. One comma four diene, diene. This is done. Yes. So now let's see one more. This part is over. Now let's see if. Uh, What happens? Or how should you name when you have triple bond? Alka alkenes are over. Now let's see when you have triple bond or alkynes, unsaturated uh, this one compounds. So how should you name it? Right. Let's see. As I told you, <laughs> the unsaturated uh, one or wherever there is double bond or triple bond, that carbon should get the minimum number, as I said. So we we'll start numbering this uh, one. So they should get the minimum number. Now, important thing. Now, compared to alkenes and alkynes, we should get minimum number again. The rule is alkyne should get the minimum number. Then comes alkenes. So, start numbering: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Done. So, let us number this also. Now, you have again alkynes and alkenes. Right now. When hydrocarbon contains, remember one more one more thing I'm telling. When hydrocarbons contain one double bond and one triple bond, what do we call this? We call them as alkenes. Alkenes. What are these called? Alkenes. Done. So here the parent chain is numbered in such a way that. Now multiple bonds. There is double or triple bond. They are assigned the lowest possible number. That is how we should remember. But. when these are located at equal in positions right so when they are located in equal positions then double bond is given priority over the triple bond okay equal in position then double bond we will give more priority to the double bond than triple bond understood yes right <coughs> in this case i am start numbering it 1 2 3 if it is equal in position then double bond will be given uh, more preference right 3 4 Five, six. Right. So now let's see this. Here they are at equivalent position. Double bond here, triple bond here. Is it no? Yes. So I told which is given preference. Double bond is given preference. Three, four, five. Now let's see this. Here you have double bond. Here you have triple bond. So again the same one two three four five six. Let us number the first one. So here 
at the seventh position basically the parent chain is nine known okay at the seventh carbon you have alkene so no need and at the second carbon you have alkyne so two ine this is how you have to name now again in this case the first carbon now total is six no six or seven let's see did i leave one yes i've left one one two three this is four this is five this is six this is seven the parent chain is hept so at the first position you have heptene at at the fourth position you have y ion that is four ion four ion now in this case again at the first carbon you have but the parent chain is pent alkene so pentene pentene at the fourth one you have ion pentene now when i take this once again the same thing the parent chain is six hex so at you have at first carbon also double bond third carbon also double bond hexa di in 5 ion and so this is how you are going to name the alkenes and that is the unsaturated hydrocarbons when you have double bond and single bond so only one thing you have to remember what should you remember when hydrocarbon contains one double bond and one triple bond they are called as alkenes okay alkynes you know alkenes but how is the parent chain numbered in such a way that the double bond as well as triple bond is given the lowest possible number suppose if you have double bond and triple bond at equal in positions like this then what will you do you will give preference to alkenes first double bonds then you will give preference to alkynes so that is a concept students hope this is clear i'll be again meeting you all with the next session in the next session that is nomenclature of hydrocarbons i'll be doing alcohol nomenclature aldehydes ketones carboxylic acids cyanides and isocyanides also thank you for watching